seeing others' limitations. Now this one is going to be a little bit more explorative because it's an incomplete insight. And I've started to become aware of other people's limitations. Not from an egotistical point of view, but more from a higher perspective of being able to really see through people. And is a certain type of way of appraising. Praising is just a nice way of saying judging, right? But it's it's a way, it's it, and it's different. It feels different than just judging, you know, because I'm watching, in particular, like YouTube videos, right? I'm watching as I'm learning and understanding the YouTube platform and how to get better at delivering via video myself. I'm starting to watch people and, and really see you know, what it is I like about them, what I don't like about them. And really what it is, is there's a, there's a truthfulness, right? There's a understanding about, okay, where they are coming from. And here's, here's the thing, how I know it's not all ego, right? Is there's a compassion to it. There's a certain sense of, yeah, almost kind of feeling sorry for. Not in a like a pitiful kind of way, but just a yearning for self-awareness. Like, like I want to impart my self-awareness or, or, or give them the self-awareness to see their own limitations, right? And it really comes from, yeah, like I said, just this place of love and compassion and wanting people to be the best version of themselves, right? and that's not not entirely accurate because everybody's on their own journey but really the point here or the benefit is to then to start to look and say okay well what is this person's limitation that i can see telling me about me you know because it's really not about them they're just a mirror for me so if i'm seeing a limitation that's telling me that oh, okay, this is how some aspect of myself doesn't want to be. And then from there, it's really a case of looking and saying, okay, is this my higher self? Is this really for my good, for the best version of me? Or is it coming from a place of ego, meaning who I believe myself to be or you know, how I'm gonna win, essentially? Is it going to benefit me like that? So taking all these considerations into taking all these factors into consideration really allows me to, yeah, develop my own self-awareness by just noticing other people's limitations. And again, it's not about leaving it over on the other side of the fence with them. It's about recognizing that you believe that to be a limitation. Because understand that from where they're coming from, people are always doing what they feel is the best thing for them. So even if you can see it as a limitation for themselves, and just know that they're doing it, you know, myself included, I'm always giving from a place of as high as I can give from. I'm never trying to, like I don't make a video and I think to myself, oh, let me, just do a half-hearted video or let me only give 50% of myself. I'm always giving 100%, right? So it's the same when other people are doing that, they're doing it from their best self or from what they believe is gonna benefit them in the, in the right way. So from that, we can really learn about ourselves and understand and develop really a sense of who we want to be, what direction do we wanna go in? what type of personality traits we want to have, how do we want to communicate, how do we want to show up. And that's really all it's about. It's about using your ability to be aware of other people's limitations in order to benefit yourself. So as I said, kind of an explorative one, 
a little bit incomplete, but we dip our toe in and yeah, we try. Peace, love and prosperity. Take care of yourself.